um, just to kind of tie things off and bring back the judgment spirit of reflection. Um, I just wanted to give each of our judges um, a round of applause for coming tonight. They have, they have to be here just as long as you did, and they're not going to get great. Um, uh, but I also want to give each of them just maybe a minute to share their own reflections. Personally, I was very impressed by the quality. You guys definitely brought your A-game in a lot of different ways. I was really impressed with the quality of the presentations, your thoughtfulness, the way that you answered questions. Um, Dave, Bucky, did you want to say anything? Yeah, there's some very viable ideas that were presented. Um, they all need a little bit of work. Yeah. Uh, some are a lot closer than others. But, um, yeah, some much, much better quality of ideas than I expected. I've done this a number of times with other groups, and uh, you guys did really well. I agree. Uh, impressed and enjoyed it. Thanks for including me. I, uh, I, I was impressed with in fact, it made me even more optimistic at that, 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 you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of tools to put some things into place pretty quick. I mean, you all have a lot of tools, and, and now with all, all, lots of ways to get funding and all that stuff, you can go from concept to reality pretty darn quick. Well, I have two questions for you guys. One, did you have anything that you wanted to share with your fellow classmates? This might be the last time you see some of them uh, on their presentations. And secondly, was there anything that didn't make it into um, your recommendations, your review of the class that you thought like, you thought later, you're like, oh, I should have written that down. You can share that now, and that's something I can mentally make a note of. Anything you want to share with your classmates or share with us? I like the uh, that Facebook group page that Jeff created because I think that could be like an addition to the Blackboard because one of the issues that I had with the Blackboard that it's harder to check it and since I joined the Facebook page like I actually I just get the updates on my phone right away so I could just you know respond back right away if I wanted to. So my barrier the barrier would be someone to have to create a Facebook or the people who are like anti Facebook would have to create a Facebook to be on that. But I've also been looking at Moodle instead of Blackboard. So I'm not opposed to that. And for the a couple of you had asked and I, you're welcome to be advisors or helpers with the next class. I think that would be something that would be really helpful. Talked about doing an independent study as part of that as an elective. Um, so something to think about as well as advising and helping with the next version of this class, which, just so you guys know, there were nine requests for it at registration. So one of the most popular first-time classes ever offered. So that reflects, I think, on you guys. Yes? I think we, you talked a little bit about, about requiring a reflection on the readings. I think it's a terrible idea. <laughs> okay. Be, and, and is it because I had said that graduate students, I expect you guys have done the readings, and so I don't need that? Well, that, that's part of it. It's like, I'm putting in the time reading. I don't have time to spend 15 minutes right. writing a reflection on this one and this one and this one. I have other things I need to be doing, not telling you what I think, but I'm going to tell you what I think over here. Got it. Well, also, to add on to that, I think also whenever it's not in a group discussion, it kind of becomes disingenuous whenever it's just you yourself talking because then you can kind of you know, BS things whenever you're just uh, re reflecting it, not actually engaging it in the conversation with people. Sure. Good points. I don't know how this would work in like, real terms, but I think it would be nice to have more separate discussions on the different forums. Sometimes that felt redundant, some of the conversations between the two. Um, like, can you give me an example? Um, just, you know, restating things that are already said. It's like, it's like having the same discussion online and having it again in person, it. which I think can add some depth to it at some level. I mean, you get a chance to think about it twice, <coughs> but. And then sometimes it comes after and before and so have or, certain topics that are either online only or something that's big enough to, to go on web and in person, but not have every idea be in web and in person. Yes. Or like for offsetting in some way where it's you know it's happening online before class or you know and, or only after or uh, sometimes just putting all that together got a little bit sure. jumbled, and especially as the topics grew and checking every individual you know all twenty or plus threads at the same time. I thought the books were great. The specific books, they were perfect. I have another class and the books are terrible. 
I just get one with this because they're not relevant. Well, but I, I think, um, who was it? Ben, you made that point that you don't like reading, but you like these books. I did. Because they're actually really, they're, they're real books, not like textbooks. They're just plain and plain. These ones actually had substance to it. And it was an enjoyable read. And I really like that it only took halfway through the class for you guys to pick up the dissonance between s Small Giants and e -Myth. And you were like, well, I think these books are kind of opposed to each other. And I was like, oh, they're, they're picking up on it. So I thought that was really, really great. You guys picked that up pretty early. So, yes. I was just curious if you had any comparisons between the entrepreneurship classes offered at UMKC and the syllabus or what we're doing here and how they might compare. I I wrote this syllabus by myself without looking because I, I, I had wanted to try to do it. It's the same way um, Gary Oldman, when he did Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, he did not go back and watch Sir Alec Guinness's portrayal in the 70s because he didn't want Think about it. So I wanted to just try to write. If I had to write it down, I think now that I've taught the class, I have a bunch of ideas. Obviously, now that it's done, but I think that would be a good time for me to cross the <coughs> question. Yeah, just see. Because I don't. They're I, known for that. Really so what are they doing that we're not doing, and what could, what you know, what could we share with them, and vice versa? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Don't share anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, they're not going to be proud of it. I will say, like the, this. Um, felt really the, the, the process that you had felt very natural as far as the reading and discussions and then the presentation and stuff like that. I thought that as far as real life and because um, like, like my boss is in like the Casey Pi the Casey Pipeline and he did stuff like that and the um, Kaufman Foundation stuff and he reads books and he presentations and the, you know those are the things that they do when they practice. Um, so it just felt like it was kind of geared from some of those real world samples that I've been kind of somewhat exposed to. And then on your note, I took a a kind of an entrepreneurial class when I was an undergrad, and we did a lot of case studies. And I know that's one way to approach it. I don't know if that's what UMKC does, but it's like how companies got started and reflect on those. Those were kind of, it was a different, much different than this. So I thought it was really important to have guest speakers every single week. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yeah. Maybe some female ones. I, I heard of. I heard of. No, no offense to the gentleman. That is not where I'm going with this by any means. But I came to the keynote speaker this morning, who was a female entrepreneur who started her own magazine, and flourish. I mean, and you know, struggling family. I mean, you guys have the same struggles, and I'm, I'm certainly not downplaying that or trying to be disrespectful at all. But it wasn't until I heard her speak that I'm like, we didn't have any women in there. I didn't. I, I'm and that sure. wasn't that wasn't conscious. I like. Oh, exactly. Because I, I didn't pick up on it either until I heard her speak this morning. But I can think of a couple right away, like Valerie Jennings, for example. She runs this about uh, Jennings social media. Great girl. And then we, um, the gentleman I spoke with for Berbilia would be happy to come. And then we also went to Think Big Partners. Was I would love nominations if you guys yeah. had email me and say I would love this person to come talk and then give me some connection information about that. Michael. I was just going to tell Macy, uh, I was reading earlier for my project that I think when I was looking at Overland Park, they said like 28% of the businesses are female owned in Overland Park. All, all the women are too busy. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, again, I did not, I didn't even notice it until I was like, at this breakfast where I'm like, wait, we didn't have any women. <laughs> Anything else you wanted to share with your fellow classmates about the presentations? As I said, I, I think the quality of presentation was excellent. I really thought you guys brought your A-game. I didn't know what to expect, you know what I mean? You, you, right before, you just sort of have a lowered expectation because it was the first time, but but I was I was very impressed. I would say that I felt we weren't really sure what you were wanting, whether we were supposed to present like a shark tank, like we were trying to get them to buy into the business. I know you love to I like that today. we did have one person do that. Yeah. And I had, you know, I had a couple people asking me, like, okay, what, so, and I know maybe you did that intentionally. Uh, well, we you notice that you notice that we had that conversation with some people where it's like, well, how much is this going to cost to start up? And then somebody bought, you know, we had a product business, and so I didn't want to have a here's my SWOT analysis. I wanted you to be entrepreneurial, even in your presentation. And we weren't just sure how far to take it. So that I think you all found a good balance. Okay. I, didn't, I didn't see that lacking anywhere. I didn't see someone standing up here and saying, well, I've got nothing else to say. And, and the question response was generally quite good. I like the openness of it. It kind of made me think about it instead of having to say, having my checklist, okay, did I do this? Yes. I like having to say, okay. What are they going? What are you guys going to ask me when I'm up here? So I should probably talk about that, so I don't just get blank with the question. So I like the the okay. I I think 
got to do a pitch here. Well, and again, part of that was being entrepreneurial, but again, part of being asking you to be graduate students. Undergraduate students get given requirements. Undergraduate students get asked to write reflections. Undergraduate students have their homework checked. Graduate students, I assume because most of you are paying for this, that you're doing it. You know what I mean? Just any other questions? I just want to know, what are you doing with the video? <laughs> um, I just wanted it. I wanted to have it. I want you to send me more video. I want you to rate it. Two two things. One is I wanted to have a reference point in case next year's class or whatever the next class is, they want to know what were the presentations like. They can now be shown. You guys didn't have the opportunity. You had to be that first class. So I can I can have like a video or. You guys had to be the first on everything, so obviously you know the next class is going to have be better, have more opportunities, all this stuff, because you guys had to pave the, pave the way. So one was to have access to it, and then the other, I don't know, maybe at some point we'll start a YouTube channel for the class, and if people want to have their presentation out there, they can. It's a, it's very it's shot, in, it's shot in SD, so it's not like... I just in case any of us make it really big... Right, I'm not gonna, I, I, it, it, it's your intellectual property, so I'm not going to put any of that without your permission. I mean, you're welcome to send like to your name, Brad Mark Cuban, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I give you full permission. Yeah, if he wants to buy any of these businesses, just let us know. I knew I had exactly five minutes with him. That was the whole thing was, uh, you know, he, he has said on more than one occasion that time is the most important thing. And I knew his handler was not going to let some guy have a long conversation. So I went in there, I knew exactly what I wanted to say, and got in, got out. And then his handler pulled him away just as I was finishing the conversation. Any other questions, thoughts, reflections? How they, soon will you have our grades out? I they're due on thir- the sixteenth. What's today? Today is the fourteenth. Today's the fourteenth. So they're due on the sixteenth. So I'm going to submit them tomorrow. Any other? Yes. I was just going to announce them. Um, I forgot to hand them out. I had some flyers for my little thing. <laughs> like I mentioned, um, for your first kiss. I might, I might be serious about uh, doing it. So. If, Maybe anybody's interested in testing it out. Test drive? Uh, I won't charge you guys since you're friends, but maybe if you <laughs> take me out to lunch after you do something. <laughs> I like it. Very enterprising. Any other commercials? Yeah, I want yours to be real. You want mine to be real? All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs>